Judging by this wall, the city's folk seemed hesitant to build further into these caverns. I wonder what kept them at bay. Hmm. Alright, well, good talk. Let's see my map. Yeah, this is a pretty useful map, so there's a few pathways back into the City of Tears. There's a bench all the way to the right. I'm going to want to make my way to that. And it looks like there wasn't anything to the left of that tramway. Like, maybe there's like a small thing hidden there, but nothing major. So, no point in backtracking. Well, I might want to take that path upward a little ways back. Uh, first, let me see what this path back to the City of Tears is like. It might end up opening up a shortcut of sorts, depending on where it leads back to. Oh god, not the explosive bats. Seriously, those are my least favorite enemy in the game. Because if you don't have a mark of pride, it is such a pain in the ass to deal with them. They have surprisingly good homing capabilities. Go free, my friend. Oh dear. Let's see. Yep, secret path. Oops. Oh! And there wasn't even anything there that I needed to destroy, so... Presumably, I could have entered the city's edge from this area right here. It's just that... Normally, you'd never think you'd be able to because there's clearly no pathway here. Not one that's marked. It's very much hidden. So that's pretty neat. Uh, so what is this head then? Well, I'm not sure what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. So, this will be something of a shortcut at some point, once I unlock those doors. For now, though, it's rather pointless. Hmm, okay. I think I'll head up later. For now, I'm gonna head back and check out that other pathway up, as I said. I feel like that'll probably end somewhat soon, and then I'll make my way to the bench and then continue exploring this area. Oh! I completely missed this my first time I was passing through. Good thing I headed through here. Not that there seems to be too much that's being hidden there. There's a... Thing I'll probably be able to collect once I have the super dash, but for now, not much I can do. So let's see where this leads. Oh! These are the same crystals that are in Crystal Peak. I wonder if this leads back to it. That wouldn't make sense though where it's positioned, would it? Yeah, not really. Crystal Peak is far above where I currently am. So they must have been carried here for some reason, for some purpose. And yeah, I'm either going to need a super dash or the ability to survive that boiling water before I can do anything else here. Well, that's good to know. I say, even though... Given what I've realized, I'm probably not going to remember it once I actually get one of those upgrades. Given uh, I completely failed to head back to those paths in Deepness, and that's what had me wandering around for so long. Because I missed the city pass. I just love the way they bounce after you kill them. That little bit of ragdolling there is just so satisfying. And it's rare to see that in a 2D game, since you don't have the ease of just, you know, using the Havoc's physics engine to do most of your work for you. That has to be something that has to be made from scratch. Probably. I don't know anything about, about programming, so I'm just kind of talking up my asshole here. Damn, though, these guys are surprisingly resilient for how small they are. Two hits, even with my massive power. Guess that's the game starting to be a little bit tougher. Wow, this bench is quite a ways in. 
It's a longer trek than I thought it would be. Yeah, let's uh, check out the bench first before I do anything else. I wonder if the double jump is in this area. Because the post- oh wow, you're a big one. The post I read on Steam said it was in Ancient Basin specifically, but maybe they were just being a bit coy to avoid spoiling. Spoilering. And they really meant that it's in this area that you get to from the Ancient Basin. Oh god, another big boy. Jeez, these guys are surprisingly difficult. I should be the near the bench though, so no point in healing. Ah, finally. And a somewhat ominous looking building. Anyone home? Yes, there is a person home. Have I seen them before? They look vaguely familiar. They remind me of that one warrior trainer at the Howling Cliffs. A relation, perhaps. Ah, I think it's actually the same dude. He wandered over here. Hm. How did you find me? Down here where the world ends. Yes, I know why you're here. You came to learn a nail art from the legendary nail master Oro. It is the law of the Great Nail Sage that I must pass down my teachings to those who are worthy. But no law forbids me, for, forbids me from exacting a payment for my time. If you truly wish to train under me, prove it with Geo. Yeah, sure, that seems a worthwhile purchase. Mastered the dash slash. Hold X to concentrate energy into the nail. Release the button while dashing to perform the dash slash. Ooh, that'll probably come in handy. Hmph. <laughs> I must say, you are an excellent pupil. Your skill with the nail and your thirst to become stronger. You remind me of my brothers. I have taught you all I can. Go back into the world, traveler, and leave me to my solitude. Let's see what the nail has to say. Brother Mato, in your lonely home at the top of the world, do you still think of me as an enemy? In the future, if you'll listen, I'll tell you why I chose to tread this path. Okay, so it is a different master than before, the brother, and one who is rather opposed to the one I met before, for some reason. Let's uh, test that out, so charge up, and then dash. Wait, did I do that right? Ah, there we go, that is a rather loud technique, that's for sure. I wonder how much damage it does compared to the regular slash. I'll have to try and make use of it more. That and the other move I have, since I've not used them at all before. Not in combat, really. Oh, I hope this isn't another one of the brothers, although given by the garb, I'm guessing it is. Uh, he did not have a good fate. Hey, it's the return of the jerkbag stalactites. <gasps> it's my friend Grub. I have to find my way to him. Oh, where did you come from, Philly man? Hiding in the bushes? Oh jeez, I'm getting destroyed here. I just don't have much room to maneuver is the thing. Hmm, I'm getting further away from my grub friend. That worries me a little. Oh dear. Sorry for interrupting <laughs> you. 
Oh, jeez. Yeah, now he's just stomping me to death. I'm gonna have to make my way back up there. It looks like there was another path leading off to the left in there. But I couldn't get through there when I dropped down initially. And uh, heading this way will hopefully take me to the grub. Yep, that is what it did indeed. Hmm. I don't... Where do these guys come from? Seriously. They must just appear out of nowhere from the foreground or the background. I nearly missed this. Ooh. An entrance to... Somewhere interesting, that's for sure. I am heading deeper and deeper, jeez. I'll end up at the bottom of the world at this rate. Seriously, look at how deep I am. Uh, let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Apparently not. Yep, it seems to be everything that's here. Where am I going? Jeez, I'm just heading deeper and deeper downward. Oh, but I don't have the soul, damn it. That is, that is a bad design decision. I can see why they gave you those soul pods so you would have enough, but... How much did I use for healing? I'm trying to think if I screwed the pooch myself by using some for healing or not. But really, they should give you one right there if they expect you to use it. That's bad design, making it so that it's possible that you have to just backtrack out and gather more soul before venturing onward. Because all that really adds is busy work. Uh... Hopefully there aren't enough more drops that I'll... I shouldn't need too much soul is what I'm hoping for. And I'll avoid healing until I'm at the end of that section. Okay, that should be enough for at least two more, maybe three. Hopefully that's enough. Nope, still going onward. Bah, still no secrets hidden in these columns. Ah, see, this is what I mean. There should have been one right there before. At least they were smart enough to put one here. This might actually take me... I was going to say back to the ancient basin, but I'm pretty sure at this point I'm way deeper than it. Ah, wow, apparently I didn't descend down as much as I thought I did. Holy crap. But uh, yeah, I'm actually roughly at the level of the ancient basin, vertically speaking. Not uh, horizontally though. Is this just a huge cache of geo? It is. Damn, look at all this shit. This is the literal mother load. Nope, still got more. Maybe, uh, make use of this? I'm not sure if that's actually more efficient than just striking it with normal strikes over and over. Holy crap, is this thing never ending? That would be interest. oh, never mind. I was gonna say it would be interesting if there was a never-ending source of money, but it was just so far out of the way of everything else, with no quick way back to it, that it's basically like, it's just a huge amount of money, but it's a pain to get to. I've seen that before in a few games, one being a Super Mario RPG where near the end of the game, in one of the final areas, there's an infinite coin box that you can just max out your money at. But it's just so far away and you only get a single thing per jump that for the most part it's not re really worth it compared to just fighting some enemies. So yeah, that seems to be all that's down there. That's a little bit disappointing. I mean, I get more Geo, which is helpful, but it's not like I'm exactly thirsting for it, you know? Just, at this moment it wasn't really worth the time investment, but... Hey, I have to explore everything after all if I want to 100% it.
Alright, let's explore more in this area then. I kind of miss that there were spikes there. In, in fairness to me, they don't exactly like stand out all that much. Especially with all this vegetation about. So I do want to head back up that shaft, but I don't think I can do so from here. I'll have to head back to the bench and then back down, which sucks. Because I'm pretty sure I saw a pathway there, and I have to confirm whether or not I did. After all, there may be an important item hidden there. Or, well, not likely an important one, but a useful one. Oh boy, I am not a fan of this setup at all. Lots of narrow platforms that you have to jump across and annoying enemies that take two hits to deal with. If I didn't have the mark of strength, this would be even more of a pain in the ass. And it's already a pretty big pain in the ass. See, see, this spread isn't too difficult to dodge if you have plenty of room, but room is exactly what you're lacking up there. Hopefully, uh, that's the last of those annoying bugs. There also sounds like there's something whirring in the distance, almost like machinery. I wonder what that's about. It sounds like it's coming from this direction. Uh... Oh, this will take me back up. That's actually fairly convenient. A secret of sorts. Quick slash and a new achievement, enchanted. What is that for? Acquire half of the charms. All right then. Let's see what that charm does. Uh, born from imperfect, discarded nails that have been fused together, the nails still. Oh, the nails still long to be wielded allows the bearer to slash much more rapidly with their nail, so a DPS increase, that's pretty good. And uh, like the previous tomb, I should be able to break through this. Oh, I guess not. That's unfortunate. It was cracked in everything. Alright, well, it seems to be everything that's over there. What is making that humming noise, though? I guess I'll never find out unless I'm missing something here. Because I'm, I'm not talking about the whirring that the bugs make. There's like a, a low-key humming in the background. Wow, this is... this looks silly. <laughs> I'm kind of like wall jumping, but not really, given it's a very curved vertical slope. The noise must be coming from inside there, but I can't reach there from here, unfortunately. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll make my way back and head down that first drop. Be sure. Yep, there was a passageway. Ah. Uh, but it's literally the most useless item in the game, a rancid egg. These things have literally no worth for me. Alright, let's see where this takes me. Yeah, it's somewhere new. Somewhere else to explore. To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of this area's aesthetics. I do like how it's evoking snow without actually using snow, I'm pretty sure. The snow just seems to be like particles of this degrading plant matter. But it does give it a somewhat unique aesthetic. The main reason I'm not a huge fan of it is that, aside from the quote-unquote snow, it's basically just a grey slash dark blue area, much like the ancient basin, or the first area in the game, and that's something that's been done before. You know, as much as it annoyed me, Green Path was probably the best area so far in terms of aesthetic direction. Just in terms of, you know, doing something a bit different from what most of the rest of the game does and just being very visually appealing. 
I mean, I'm not expecting an area that's at the edge of the kingdom to be flush with life or anything. But, I don't know, still just something more going on here would be nice. And don't think I missed that grub. In fact, I might be, yep, making my way towards him. Since quite a few of them are in hidden areas like this. God damn it. You know, I said I should be making use of my magic ball, and yet I keep failing to do it. That was an instance where it would have been very handy indeed. Hmm. I don't know, I'm- one thing I'm not entirely sure of that I could probably test out myself or just, you know, look up online is whether or not my damage increases affect my magic. I'm assuming that the nail upgrades don't because that wouldn't make sense, but I'm not sure about the mark of strength. Uh, sorry, no, Fragile Strength. I keep getting its name mixed up with the Mark of Pride. If I, uh, look at its description, does that illuminate matters? Let's see... Okay, yeah, specifically it's a damage boost for the nail, so all of my damage increases have been for the nail. So even though before the magic likely was stronger, it's now probably fallen behind and so it is questionable to be worth using, especially since I'd rather save that soul for healing. Ah, uh, fuck you game. Seriously, the stalactites, what do they add in terms of player fun? Nothing, that's right, they add absolutely nothing. They're just an annoyance. Oh, Boy, I hope this is the last area that they're in. Their presence alone is almost enough to make me dislike this area as much as I did Green Path. Almost, but not quite. It'll take a little bit more bullshit stuff for me to actually dislike this area. Ah, another area I can't quite get to. Hmm. Okay, this looks like it'll end up leading back to the left of that other big room, so I suppose I should finish exploring this way first. And then I can head back to the right. Yeah, the fact that they make it so that you have to update the map at bench is one of the less good design decisions, I feel. Because your map is not updated as you go along, it can make exploring the areas more difficult, again, unless you have an eidetic memory, as I mentioned before. Like, seriously, the map is such a useful tool, and yet they do a lot to make it less useful than it really should be. And much like the inclusion of stalactites, I ask, what exactly does that add in terms of adding fun to the game? And I would argue that it really doesn't add anything, it just adds a little bit of extra busy work or quote-unquote difficulty. But not the, uh, the good kind. Are you... are you a friendly? You seem to be enjoying this. Um... can't really strike you with the dream nail. Hmm, magic does nothing. Well, presumably I'll be able to head further up and talk to you. Maybe, uh, maybe you'd have been crass if I had approached without tickling you. And now you'd be more friendly, because there has to be a reason for that, um, that secret path. Actually, it doesn't seem like I can even get over to them. Hmm. And there's also a path leading to the left down below that I somehow missed. I was keeping keeping my eyes open, but I still managed to miss it. Huh. Uh, well it doesn't look like this area is gated to any degree, so I should be safe heading back. I just wanted to make sure there wasn't a shortcut here or something. Let's head back to that secret path. I'm trying to think of other ways I can interact with this uh, big wiggling butt here. Like I tried regular attacks. I tried magic and that didn't do anything. I can't use the dream nail because I have to be standing while doing it. Maybe if I just strike him enough times? 
No. Maybe I'll need some other form of attack. Uh, what if I do this? No, that doesn't seem to do anything, so for now, that will remain a mystery, I suppose. Alright, the path should be right over here. Ah, that's right, it's that path uh, right above the boiling water. Okay, I didn't realize that. So yeah, you know the whole... It's a lot more difficult to find your way without the map being updated as you progress. I don't remember, was there a path back down below? I feel like there may have been something I wanted to revisit. But if there was, I've forgotten about it in specific, so... I guess I'll just head on this way since I'm not sure if there's anything I can do there. Oh, I can't actually head onwards here, damn. So yeah, I guess nothing else to do at the moment other than to explore this massive room. I'll put off heading... Actually, no, you know what? I, I'm Instead I'm going to do the opposite of what I was about to say. And focus on heading to the City of Tears. There may have been like a shortcut door there that I could now unlock that would be very helpful. Okay, yeah, so confirmed the default magic blast is mostly worthless at this point. It does less than a third of the damage it looks like that my nail does. So yeah, it's better to just save my soul for healing then. That's a bit unfortunate. It would be nice if I had the ability to upgrade my magic. Or at least boost the damage or something to keep it, uh, keep it decent. Keep pace with the nail. Maybe I'll find that in the future, who knows. Alright, let's see where this leads back to in the city. Oh, it leads to the Tower of Love, a locked padded door. Surprised I can't use the exquisite key for that. Well, this is certainly an interesting named area. Oh! I may have found the source of those glass jars that up to this point have just been trapping the, the little grubs. Hmm, interesting. I, uh, can't seem to progress here, though. Oh, I rec- nope. I recognize where this was, so this was definitely worth it. Yeah, it ends up being something of a shortcut. So, if I come across another key, or maybe another lockpick, I'll be able to enter yet another new area. One that sounds very interesting indeed. Tower of Love. Sounds like a lovely place. I'm sure it won't be filled with all sorts of horrible monstrosities to bug kind. Let's see, this looks like it'll lead back further up into that big room, so uh... I definitely don't want to drop down at this point, otherwise I'll lose progress. I think. Oh, it leads somewhere else entirely. Hmm. No, no, it has to lead back down to where I was before. But, uh... Oh, wait a minute, yeah, and that's where the, uh, the grub butt is, isn't it? Right over there? But I thought my way forward was bad here. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. I was just off with my spatial positioning. It makes sense in my mind now. And again, I probably wouldn't have had that issue if the map just updated automatically. See, see, that's been something that's bothering me a, a little bit for a long time, but never hugely so. But as of late, it's just gotten more and more annoying. And I... Whoa, where did you come from? Uh, and I certainly wouldn't mind if they patched that at some point. Yeah, there were just corpses of warriors falling from up above for some reason. I'm sure that's a good sign. Hmm. It's 
There's gotta be some stuff hidden here. Hey, I suppose that's one use that the fireball still has. Safe execution of the kamikaze is. But uh, this just leads back down, so I think this was a waste of time. Uh, there's gotta be something hidden here, right? Otherwise, what's the purpose of this entire bit of the area? I guess, uh, it's an alternate way up, dealing with different sorts of enemies. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Alright, one way forward, up and to the left. So, after I deal with this enemy, let's check out the right side of the room. Hey, and yeah, that's another use of the fireball. One nail strike and one fireball is enough to finish it off. I still ended up getting damaged, so it wasn't super useful in that case, but definitely could come in handy knowing that. Hmm. I have yet to find the source of these uh, corpses here. Unless that something is just off to the left there. And is like just throwing them out. Well, they're giving me quite a bit of soul here. There may be a boss upcoming. I would be looking forward as hell to that. And it's been a long time since I've actually fought a boss. Those uh, encounters with the dead dreaming bugs were kind of like mini boss fights, but not really proper boss fights. You could say I'm thirsty for a boss. Oh dear. I actually nearly missed that one. Yep, now I'm in completely uncharted territory. Damn it, I failed to maneuver properly there, whoops. And all I got for it was a lousy bit of geo. Seriously, those caches are kind of worthless at this point. I get way more from most of the enemies. Those just don't scale up competitively. Come on, game. Give me a boss. Give me an upgrade. Give me something. Ooh, a shortcut of sorts. Does it lead back to an area that I've been in before? Let's see where I am now on the map is in relation to everything else. Yep, so this is how I get to that one path in the elevator shaft that I tried to get to earlier. Uh, I'm definitely not going to want to drop down because I would not be able to get back up here. So this will be a quick way back into this area once I have some movement upgrades. For now it's kind of pointless. Just going to dash through here past all the kamikazes and... Well, this place looks ominous enough to host a boss fight.